Hello, I'm Greg with Promo Rights. One of the most common questions that I get in regard to the Desert Tactical Arms SRS rifle is bolt manipulation. Uh, it's, it's commonly thought that with a bullpup bolt action, you will have to break your cheek weld in order to manipulate the bolt. Uh, with the SRS, that is not the case, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. With a standard bolt action rifle, the action and the rear of the bolt is in front of your grip. As you can see on the SRS, the grip is in front of the bolt. On a standard bolt action rifle, uh, after you fire, you sweep your fingers up like so and, that, and, and lift the bolt up out of battery. You slide it to the rear and push it back in battery with your thumb and lock it down. It's slightly different with the SRS in terms of bolt position, number one, and the maneuver that you use to operate the bolt. Now with the SRS, when you fire, the easiest way to find the bolt is just to use the gun's contour when you're coming back to it. So after you break the shot, you just simply slide your hand back just a little bit and right here you can see that my wrist is making contact with the bolt. So if I just come back to there, slide my finger along it, I can get a hold of it with my index finger right here. I grasp it between my index finger and my thumb, lift it up, slide it to the rear, back forward, and push it down. And you can do that without really having to move your fingers along the bolt at all. Now this is the old teardrop style bolt handle. All of the new SRS's will come with a round bolt handle, but both are available. Uh, I do happen to like the round one a little better, and I'm going to be upgrading this one uh, pretty soon. So again, you don't want to take your hand off the rifle completely and then come back to the bolt. Uh, under pressure, you might not be able to do that every time. So what you would do is fire, sweep back, up, back, forward, down. It's that simple. The SRS has another thing going for it, and that is you don't really have to be gentle in how you operate it. Uh, point in fact, it likes to be run a little rougher. Uh, if you try to go, you know, very slow and calculated, it, you know, generally it's going to jam or have some kind of goofy problem. But if you run the bolt swiftly and deliberately, it'll feed flawlessly every single time to the point where I don't recall ever having a malfunction with this thing. Uh, when I first got it, it was kind of unique in the sense that I had to get used to the bolt position and the, the, the firmness in, in how it wanted to be ran. Um, but in actual field conditions, it's not something you have to worry about it because it's a very natural tendency to kind of get rough with it anyways. So um, I'll, I'll go ahead and get my head on the gun here and show you exactly how this works and, and show you that you don't have to break cheek weld in order to get it done. So as you can see, that's very smooth and doable. Now I have the 308 conversion in here, so the bolt throw is just slightly shorter than it would be if I had the 338 conversion or a different long action uh, cartridge in here. Um, the 308 conversion and the rest of the short action uh, cartridges, like 260 or 65 or something like that, will come with a little spacer that goes in the back here to shorten that bolt throw. So the position that it comes back to, if you make it about an inch longer, that's what it would be for a 338.
So as you can see, the bolt manipulation on the Desert Tactical Arms SRS is very simple. Uh, you do not have to break your cheek weld. You do not have to uh, lose your target in the sight picture. Uh, it's very easy to stay on target while manipulating the bolt, and that doesn't matter whether you're using a 308 conversion or the 338 conversion. It's, it's very easy to operate. Uh, it's very intuitive on how they have it set up. Uh, you know, you've got a 60 degree bolt lift here instead of a 90, so that's really nice. You have a little bit more ergonomic workspace than you do on a typical bolt action as well. Instead of reaching forward, uh, you just come back towards yourself and, and you have more leverage back here and more control of the rifle. So if you're thinking about an SRS, don't let the, the strange location of the bolt uh, encumber your choice. It, it really is a non-issue. When you first get the thing, uh, it takes maybe two or three hundred rounds uh, and you can dry fire that as well. Um, to get used to where the bolt position is. Once you get past that first little hurdle, uh, it becomes very, very natural uh, to the point where shooting a traditional rifle feels kind of funky after a while. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to continue doing small segments on the Desert Tactical Arms SRS uh, in the future, so make sure you keep an eye on the website and the YouTube channel.